This is the Amazing Beer Drinking Man, and today we're going to drink a Gritty's Halloween Ale. A couple of firsts for us today with these reviews. This is actually the first viewer request. One of my viewers, actually some friends from high school, suggested we try this one, so we've been looking for it. It is out. We are going to try it. And it is our first ESB, or Extra Special Bitter Beer. Uh, bitter beer is actually, bitter was a term that was synonymous with pale ale back in the 1830s in England. Uh, extra special bitter really doesn't have much of a meaning other than the alcohol content should be stronger than the typical typical pale ale. Typical pale ale a lot of times are down around 4, 4.1%. This one happens to be a 6% ABV. Uh, they can typically say anything over 5, 5.5 could be an ESB. And bitter beer is not bitter by flavor or ESB is not bitter by flavor. It's actually just a stronger bitter and it's a pale ale. They tend to be kind of malty. Uh, Gritty is actually from Gritty McDuff's. It's a chain of brew pubs in Maine. They've been around for about 20 years now. They do uh, brew a series of special events. They have a, a Christmas ale to go along with their Halloween ale. This is bird... I couldn't find out what type of malt they use for this one, but they do use three English hops on it. They use a Kent Goldings, a Whitbread Goldings, and a BC Kent. So, here we are with Gritty's Halloween Ale. Let's give it a crack. I would expect it to be fairly dark, and I would also expect it to be fairly malty. It's, it's almost a red, maybe a, maybe a, I don't know, we'll take a look at it here, give it a second. The head is actually very toasty. It's not a bright white head. And I would call it, a, yeah, I would call it like a ruby or a red. I mean, I know it looks dark in the glass, but in the light, it's definitely got some reddish highlights. So a, a red, golden type color. Let's see what we got here, huh? Very interesting. I'm getting a little bit of a fruity flavor, a little bit of fruity aroma. I wasn't expecting that. A little bit of hop, not a lot, a little bit of hop. I mean, I am getting some, um, I am tasting some, well, tasting, I'm smelling some of the malt that I was expecting. Yeah, yeah, if you dig a little deeper, you do smell a malt. Uh, you can tell it's obviously roasted. You get a little bit of a roasted flavor from, uh, smell from it, aroma from it. Let's give it a try. Yep, not bitter at all. Not bitter at all. You do get the malt. You actually get a little bit of hops up front. You get a little present hops up front. Then you get the malt in the middle taste, and then you get a little bit of the bitter aftertaste, again, from the hops. It actually tastes much closer to a lager than I would expect from a pale ale. You see the head is kind of trickled down. We get a little bit of lacing on the side of the glass. Uh, mouthfeel, it's kind of a light mouthfeel. It's not a heavy feel. This, uh, this is a very drinkable beer. I like this beer quite a bit. It is closer to a lager. I mean, this would really suit the American palate very well. That you do get that hot bitterness that you expect. You get a nice smooth flavor, a nice smooth texture in the mouth. Not an overpowering malt. This, I would call this closer to a, a lager than I would actually a pale ale. I, I would expect a, a stronger malt flavor from an ESB. Most of the ones I've had, you really taste the toasty malt. I would give this a solid five caps. I could sit around with my friends from high school. We could drink a we could drink a six pack or two of these together, and have a good time and talk about the good old days. So until next time, this is the amazing beer drinking man.